Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and in today's lecture we're gonna learn how we can move a large number of records from one database to another database even on the different instance and for an example we will be taking like we will be moving the missing records from one table to another table which is in other database on other server and we will be doing this using BCP there are few prerequisite for this example is one destination server should be a link server on the source instance and second there should be a table list on the source table uh, where we have like from which table the data will go into which table okay so that kind of thing okay and few settings so let us jump into the example first so I have created the script so what I will be doing is I have this order details copy table so if you see there are uh, around 5 million records and there and there will be uh, one more here we on this is my okay let me explain you so I have this uh, this is my source data instance and database so Northwind is the database instance I have the order details uh, copy table which is having around 5 million records and I will be moving them into this BCP test having these two tables so right now there are zero records in that so once we do the complete the BCP so we will expect all the data to be moved into this table so it will match up uh, with the this number okay so this is our you can say example which we will be going to do complete okay so one more prerequisite uh, like let us see the prerequisite first thing as I told you we need you can say a link server so first thing is you need to create the server object and the link server and point it to you can say uh, destination server it's very simple you just need to go like new link server provide the credential and it will link up to that okay here you can at least you can see here you can explore the same tables and all from that server because we need to compare the data as I told you I will be moving the missing records so currently there is no record so we will be like comparing and moving all the records okay so now let us let me just close this window and we will just copy this number there so that I have only three windows open oh sorry I missed the number oh, for, okay uh, we'll uh, take it later okay now second prerequisite as I told you I want a table this table on the you can say source database this is on the Northwich so source database so what this table is it is having like source table source schema destination table destination schema source server destination server and then source database and destination database so these kind of prerequisite I am having okay so now what uh, now the main crux is this query here what you need to do is you need to change you can say source um, first set first four settings are on the source and second four settings are for the destination so here you need to mention your because I am assuming this is one time task you are not scheduling it because if you are scheduling it, you better do some with some other way instead of doing this so I am considering it is a only one time task okay so now database you have server name username and password and same for the destination server and as I told you like you need this table so once you populate the data so what I did is like this is my source table and this is my destination table as I have two tables on the destination so I have you can say copy the same table to the you can I want to copy the same table to the destination in these two tables okay so I will fill these details first schema table name and so on and then I will run this script it is also I'm running on the source you can say database as that table exists there so what this query is doing is it will generate okay let me just first show you the output so he generated two output one is output command and second is input command these will be executed on the source database and it will generate files which will export to the you can say destination server and then we will run these two commands on the destination server to you can say uh, uh, put the data back into the destination databases okay so now I will explain what this query is doing first of all I am generating a comma separated list of each table because as I told you I am comparing like whether th the missing data so for missing data and also uh, I am taking like I am I have to compare all the records not like few with ID and also I am using accept clause so I'm saying like from source table get all the records which are not except which are not present into the destination table so here it is destination database and the table as we have created the link server so we can have this kind of syntax okay so it will be copying almost all the data basically all the data 
so how i am getting this comma separated list of this columns is using this query what this query is doing automatically it is you can say linking up with the outside query i have the table list here we have source and destination and i am trying to get all basically as we ca we are just moving the data so we are assuming the column should be the same on the destination okay uh, so i am selecting all the columns and uh, converting them to a comma separated string output like this okay for each table and i am skipping the identity column because identity we cannot insert so i am skipping the identity column so it will op automatically populate on the destination server so and then i am generating this temp table and it will have all these commands so now as i told you now what you need to do is once you just execute this query you will get the output copy these two commands open notepad paste them save them as you can say uh, i will save as bcp output dot batch file save and i will run my command as administrator cd slash cdr now i have bcp command output here i will just run this command so here you see it is exporting the data and it's quite fast and uh, believe me this is a virtual system so it's ha if you go into the settings and all it's very less you can say it is a very com simple machine two process only two cores i have only provided 8 gb of ram and in vm uh, where, like a virtual machine 8 gb of ram almost come to 6 gb uh, it's very you can say simple configuration server and here you can see how fast the records are moving okay so the syntax of bcp command it's very simple just let me explain you first we type the query whatever the query it is so and then we say output of this query put it into this uh, you can say text file and these are the server credentials server name database name username and password and c and t are like simple uh, you can say arguments which we need to pass so it will take few seconds to complete and in the meantime let us do one thing like as my source and destination server is on the same machine so i don't need to move the file so i just need to copy these files so what you need to do is after these file get generated here you see it is generating these two files okay so uh, what you need to do is like once your files are getting generated you need to copy the file onto the destination server and open the notepad on the destination server and save this input command like these two input command and save it as you can say uh, bcp input i will create dot batch file again i will change it why dot batch file is because we need to you can say uh, uh, execute all the commands uh, through one command we don't want to execute one by one okay because why i created this then random nature is suppose you have 100 and 200 table way to do that so you can uh, still use this command you so you don't need to do anything else just you need this table and one link server onto the source uh, server now you can see that 5 million records now we have created two copies of this 5 million records it got generated in like almost it may have given the time one th you can see okay forget it like it would have taken some reasonable amount of time not that much but okay we got the output now as i told you we have generated our batch file which is input batch file now to restore on the same server so input batch file just take a look now it is on the different server my main server was Yogesh Mehla SQL Server 2016 and now it is this is the destination server okay as we have zero number of records into these tables so once we ran this command bcp input it should populate them with the data so let us see it will take well, again few minutes to complete in the meantime let me just guide you through through the syntax of our command now as first co command have that query output clause basically a parameter which is telling output should be dumped into somewhere now as we are doing input so here i have just mentioned the table name input file now in is like here i have specified the input file and again the server credentials okay once the server credentials there and these are the log file i'm generating so while inputting so like suppose some error comes and all so that i should be able to log it down okay so I think one is already complete. Second is in the progress. Let us see what is the record count. It will take a few seconds because as it is a two core machine so it's very slow. So 
so here you can see the data is got copied and both command got executed completely so we can open the logs to check it is giving us the same logs what uh, we are expecting and at the end it would have completed all the transfer so now as you can see now a lot of data got transferred into like few seconds using BCP and we are transferring the missing records okay so missing records means it will have to compare and send that data, uh, that data back to the dump and then we have to execute so uh, now to go through through the steps again first you need to create the link server on the you can say source database from how you will create this go to the server objects and go to the link server and link it second you need to create this table so I will be giving this script uh, along with the other one. So first you create the table, populate it with source table, destination table, server details and all. Once you do that, just uh, and this has to be done on source database and then just execute this command. So it will give you two set of commands. One is input commands, output, output command and input commands. You need to copy all the output commands to a batch file on the source database, put into some drive, execute through run as administrator command and it will export the data files like these text files are the data files. Now then copy this, uh, you can say, text files back to the so, uh, destination server and then copy these input commands and save it as a batch file into the same folder where these file you are copying like you can say exported file you are copying and then execute this bcp input dot batch as an administrator mode so it will automatically put the uh, you can say uh, load the data from text file to the server now why bcp because if you are using you can say normal SQL CMD also you have a, a limitation on the size of file you are loading like it's 2 GB or something like that but BCP you can load up to like a lot of data basically it is 2 raised to the 64 so it has become a uh, big size so that uh, much of data you can load through BCP and it's quite faster here you can see on the 2 core machine with 4 or 6 GB of RAM we are able to do it in like less than 1 minute so it's very quite easy so if you have any question you can ping me on my email id yogesh.malad.gmail.com also to get this script please uh, put your email id in the comments i will mail it to you and this is my website textfire.in this is my phone number you can connect me through whatsapp as well and this is my skype id so whatever you feel uh, like if you have any question you feel free to contact me so uh, please uh, like and subscribe my channel thank you bye bye